Mm -mm -mm. Liquid tiramisu, seriously. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rack of Lamb. I know I've been MIA, but I'm back. I recently returned from a trip to Japan and Vietnam and it was the most amazing trip. If you haven't already, please check out the vlogs that I've posted thus far. Now before I even create and edit my Vietnam vlog, I figured I'd share a recipe for a very unique Vietnamese coffee. I've had some of the best cups of coffee during my time in Vietnam. They make it just the way I like it with extremely bold coffee and some sweetened condensed milk. But there's also Vietnamese egg coffee, which you may or may not have heard of. It's one of the few coffees that I'm aware of that incorporates egg. And to me, it tastes like a liquid version of tiramisu. And given that that is one of my favorite desserts and the fact that I'm also a coffee snob, I came back from Vietnam and I said, I got to learn how to make this. And I did. So stay tuned if you're interested. For this recipe, you're going to need two eggs. Vietnamese egg coffee uses raw eggs, so it's critical that everything we use today is clean and we're working under sanitary conditions, of course. I started off by washing my hands and the eggs, then setting the eggs aside for 15 to 20 minutes so they can return to room temperature. You can skip the next step if you're completely fine with using untreated raw eggs, but to avoid contamination and risk of salmonella, I'm going to pasteurize my eggs by placing them in a pot of water and bringing the temperature up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm going to let these medium sized eggs sit in this constant temperature for 3 minutes. If you're using large or jumbo eggs, you'll need to let them sit for 5 minutes. If you have a sous vide, go ahead and use that. It's the perfect tool for pasteurizing eggs. Now I'm going to bring some water to a boil in my electric kettle and gather the rest of the ingredients, including the two pasteurized medium or large size eggs, sweetened condensed milk, vanilla extract, bold coffee such as that of Café du Monde, a thin filter if that's the method you're choosing to brew your coffee, optional cocoa powder, and you'll also need an electric whisk. To make coffee with a thin filter, we're going to unscrew the filter screen, add 2 tablespoons of Café du Monde ground coffee or your coffee of choice, screw the screen back in, place the thin filter over your cup, add just a tad of boiling water so the grinds can bloom, and after 10 to 15 seconds, we're going to fill the thin filter with hot water and allow it to fully drip. We're going to be doing this twice and using about half a cup in total. Feel free to use less coffee if you find two tablespoons to be too bold or brew with more water if that's what you prefer. Okay, so while our coffee is still brewing, we can make our custard topping, which is really what makes a Vietnamese egg coffee. Now, if you want, you can put this cup in a bowl of warm or hot water just to keep it nice and toasty while you make the topping. But to do that, you're going to need your pasteurized eggs and keep in mind this only makes one cup so you're gonna have to double this if you want to make it for a friend or a loved one but I'm just making it for myself today you're also gonna need condensed milk which I've already cracked open a bowl for whisking as well as some vanilla extract so let's get to it while the coffee continues to drip let's place two yolks into a deep bowl At this point, I noticed that all the water had fully dripped out of the fin filter, so I filled it up once more. Next, we're going to add 1 tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk into the same bowl as the yolk or to taste. Don't mind if I use my fingers to get the sticky stuff out of the tablespoon. And ignore me while I lick it off my fingers. Mm -mm -mm. Using our electric whisk, we're going to beat the crap out of the yolk and milk mixture until thick and frothy. Don't be forgetful like me and make sure you add an eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. After whisking for over three minutes, I was ready to spoon the custard topping over my coffee, which had fully dripped by them. Talk about perfect timing. And you know you've whisked it to the right consistency when your mixture floats atop your coffee. That simply means you've added sufficient air into the topping. 
I've had quite a few cups of Vietnamese egg coffee in Ho Chi Minh City and Da Nang, the two stops I made during my latest trip. I've had them hot and cold and found some to be too sweet and some just right. The great thing about making them at home is you can customize it however you'd like. And that includes dusting the topping with some cocoa powder so it resembles tiramisu. So using only egg yolks in the topping is the traditional way of making Vietnamese egg coffee. However, while playing around with this recipe, I found a method that may or may not be better. And that is using two whole eggs instead of using two egg yolks. I actually thought the texture and flavors were quite nice and really resembled the Italian dessert. If you tried out both methods, please let me know which one you prefer. Here's the result of method one using two whole eggs. The topping is frothier due to the addition of egg whites, but I found that it blends easier with the coffee. Here's method two using two medium egg yolks. The topping is much thicker and much more custardy and resulted in almost a one-to-one -one ratio between topping and coffee. Because the topping is so thick and creamy, I found that it was harder to mix and fully incorporate it into the coffee. Either way, both versions were quite nice. And guys, just like that, you've made yourself a cup of Vietnamese egg coffee. You don't have to go to Vietnam for this if you don't want to. Just make it right at home with the recipe I've just shared. And now let's have a taste test. Look at the beautiful custard layer separated by the layer of coffee on the bottom. Topping it with cocoa powder actually makes it taste more like tiramisu. So why not, right? Let's try this out. Mmm, so good. I'm just gonna give it a mix. Look at this thick, frothy, custard layer right on top of the coffee. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Now you find this too sweet, you can reduce the condensed milk, but I think one tablespoon works just right for me. So I'm just gonna mix this all up. Mm-mm-mm. Liquid tiramisu. Seriously. So good. Please try. <coughs> Please try this out. The custard topping with the bold coffee pairs so perfectly together. I might just make myself a second cup. Peace. If you enjoyed my video, please click that like button and subscribe for more recipes. Thank you so much for watching.